COVID-19 vaccine across the state, a moment that I know so many have been hoping would come for months now. Since early on, the Department of Health Services and our administration have been working hard with our local, state, and federal partners to prepare for the safe, efficient distribution of the vaccine. And now we're putting our plan into action with eight regional hubs across the state. As I've said all along, I believe in science, and I trust our scientists, researchers, and public health experts who are guiding our planning, preparation, and distribution. These folks have put a lot of effort into ensuring that the vaccine infrastructure and clinics are ready for the successful rollout of our Wisconsin COVID-19 vaccine program. As the state receives more vaccine over the coming weeks and months, we will continue to follow the recommendations from federal and state health experts regarding who is getting the vaccine and when, but we're starting now with our healthcare workers who are on the front lines. Those who live and work in our long-term care facilities and, of course, the health care workers who are putting their health, safety, and hearts on the line to take care of all of us. But here's the bottom line. We are working to get the COVID-19 vaccine out to folks who need it quickly, safely, and equitably. And it's going to take all of us continuing to work together. And that means we all need to remember we are not just out of the woods quite yet. It's going to be a long process for everyone, and especially as we head into the holiday season. We are asking folks to continue doing your part to help keep our healthcare workers, our families, and our communities healthy and safe. That's why today we're excited to announce another tool to help us come combat COVID-19 and prevent the spread that you'll be able to use right from your pocket. Next Wednesday, we'll be launching the Wisconsin WI Exposure Notification app. This smartphone app uses Bluetooth technology to let you know if you've been in close contact with someone who's tested positive. Android and iPhone users will see, see a notification on their phones to download or enable the app next Wednesday. And I strongly encourage you to do so once the app is available. The app is free and it's anonymous so that your privacy is protected even as you help us in stopping the spread. So look for more information on the launch of the app next week. But even though we have new tools to help prevent the spread, we still want people to enjoy the holidays safely. So just as we did last month, we're encouraging Wisconsinites to celebrate the holidays virtually and within their own households. Don't host parties or gatherings at your home or anywhere else with folks you don't live with. Getting tested is an important part of our efforts to box in the virus, but it isn't a pass to attend a gathering. Your test results are only a snapshot in time, and a negative test one day does not guarantee a negative test the next. So please continue to stay home whenever possible, wear a mask whenever you have to go out, and practice physical distancing from anyone you don't live with. Let's head into the new year healthy and ready to take on the virus in 2021. Finally, well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and a new year full of opportunities around the corner. This time of year can be difficult for many. Wisconsinites across our state and country have had a really stressful year personally, financially, emotionally, and it's important to remember that no matter what you're going through, you're not alone and help is available. The Department of Health Services has compiled resources for Wisconsinites to stay resilient through tough times. From assistance with paying bills and putting food on the table to mental health counseling, head to dhs.wisconsin.gov slash resilient to find help. Let's stay hopeful, let's stay safe, Let's get through these upcoming months together, Wisconsin. So with that, I will now hand things over to Secretary-Designee Andrea Palm for her update. Andrea, it's all yours. Thanks, Governor. Good afternoon, everyone, and, and thanks for joining us again today. Uh, we're adding 3,643 new cases uh, today to our total, which brings us to uh, 448,441 confirmed cases here in Wisconsin. Our seven-day average of cases is 3,192. 
Today, we're reporting 59 more Wisconsinites have died from COVID-19, which brings our total deaths to 4,255. As always, our thoughts are with the families and friends who have lost loved ones. This past week marks a turning point in a year that has brought many more challenges than we bargained for. To be clear, we're still in the middle of a pandemic and we need to keep doing what we know works to, to stop the spread. We need to stay home, physically distance, wear a mask and wash your hands because we know that these public health tools make a difference when we all do them together. But the addition of a vaccine in our COVID-19 toolbox really is an important milestone. This week, Pfizer vaccine has been arriving in Wisconsin at our eight regional hubs across the state, each of which is outfitted with the required ultra cold storage equipment. Our logistics distribution and transportation teams report that their work has gone smoothly and vaccination of healthcare workers has begun. We're hearing stories of healthcare providers being overcome with emotion as they received their vaccine. Being focused on the nuts and bolts of the logistics and distribution, I didn't really think about how much relief and excitement we'd all feel collectively as a state as vaccines started rolling out. But of course we would, and of course our healthcare workers would. They've seen so much suffering on the front lines of this pandemic. We are grateful for their tireless work and dedication, and we are thankful that the COVID vaccine is here. Pending its own emergency use authorization from the FDA, the Moderna vaccine should be available for staff and residents of long-term care facilities starting December 28th. This partnership with CDC and national pharmacy chains will provide on-site vaccinations at our skilled nursing facilities and will provide more updates on that program and all of our vaccine distribution work on our COVID-19 vaccine webpage which you can find by visiting dhs.wisconsin.gov slash COVID-19 and click on the vaccine tab. Finally, please remember that it will be months before vaccine is widely available. So please continue to stay home, wash your hands, wear a mask and physically distance. If you have symptoms of COVID-19 or if you've been exposed, please get tested, isolate and quarantine. We've added another tool to our toolbox thanks to the vaccine, but we need to remain vigilant and continue using these other tools just a little while longer. Thank you.